Folks, Stefan Bujak with a real quick market summary of last month and also what's happening in the marketplace now. So the first week of July was a lockdown week. It was also an auction week. We had to quickly pivot from an on-site auction to an online auction and we had three that day. It was great to see that there was no adversity from buyers and they were all willing participants uh, for a Zoom auction. Three sales and three successful sales. Uh, 32 Mount Street, Uncliff was a three bedroom home that sold for 1.861 million. We had a two bedroom townhouse in Uncliff sell for a million dollars on the button and a duplex site in Bexley selling for $2.2 million. We haven't done the research, but we're sure that's some sort of record in Bexley and certainly St. George for a duplex site. Happy to see that there's confidence in the developer slash builder market as well about purchasing homes at a premium right now to develop on and the confidence they have in terms of resale for the next 12 months. So July was a great month nevertheless um, and even though we had lower stock levels and the COVID situation was once again wrestling with us, uh, there was a lot of energy in the marketplace and that momentum's continued into the market right now. In fact, I'd uh, say that there's probably more demand for properties from buyers right now. Let's have a look at some live listings. So 20 East Street in Bardwell Valley's had fantastic, uh, had a, a fantastic response from the marketplace. Have a look at these stats, 1500 views on REA, 170 saves and shares, 60 plus inquiries, domain, 1500 views, 150 almost saves and shares, and over 50 inquiries. It's an incredible amount for you know a 10 day period. 21 Duff Street's another property we're selling in Arncliffe. Th thanks to both clients, by the way, for the opportunity. So 1,500 views, 107 plus uh, saves and shares, almost 30 inquiries. Have a look at the domain report, 3,000 plus views, 150 almost saves and shares, and almost 50 inquiries. Now, what does that all mean? Well, it means that the marketplace is full of inquiry, which means it's full of buyers, which means it's full of premium prices. We're finding, and I feel this is one of the biggest drivers right now, we're finding that buyers are a bit worried having to reapply for finance. It might be that there's a race against time um, for a lot of them to purchase a home before their pre-approval lapses. I don't know about you, but wouldn't want to be applying for a loan um, whilst this whole COVID situation is going on because banks are being a little bit more cautious now naturally. So we're finding that for a lot of these buyers, they're wanting to purchase something really soon. They might have one, two or three weeks left of their pre-approval. This is what's driving the prices up again, I feel in the market, along with low stock levels. Now, if you're a savvy owner and you've been considering selling, it might be time to start thinking about selling now. Even though you kind of open homes or online auctions, you've got a vast array and a huge number of buyers inquiring on homes and looking to purchase pretty urgently. Now, it's beneficial for you because you're able to take, you know, have some leverage and, and take benefit from the current situation in terms of stock levels, but you're also supplying property to the much needed buyer marketplace. So in my opinion, it's a win-win scenario. Looking forward to the rest of uh, this month and then into the spring selling season. Who knows what will happen? Please take care and I'll chat to you soon. Thanks for watching.